Hey everyone, this is Brian Drury of Overcoming Graduation here to share a quick speaker tip on how and why audiences are not engaging with your presentations. If you find yourself saying people aren't engaged, they're not connected, I don't feel like they're getting it or they're not taking action afterwards, there's a couple of critical things that we need to do as speakers and presenters to make sure that we link our audience to the message that we're telling and we help them take action towards whatever the goal or objective or the message of that speech is. So here's one of the first pieces is if you're telling a personal story about something incredible you did, let's say you climbed Mount Everest, you did something that few humans in history have ever done and it's incredible. You tell the story and there was an avalanche and you had to save your friend and then somebody helped save you and you got down this, this rock face and you thought you were gonna quit but we ultimately pushed through and we did it and then we made it back to base camp and you had this huge realization, life changed forever and you realize no matter how big the mountain is to climb, if you surround yourself with the right team and the right people and you're willing to take one step at a time, you could achieve anything. Boom, thunderous applause, people loved it, that was amazing. You climbed Everest, that was so cool. Unfortunately, what many speakers are doing unconsciously is distancing themselves from the audience. Because if the audience is right now having trouble getting out of bed and they just keep snoozing their alarm, the idea of climbing Everest is so far, they feel like they're here and you're up here and they're like, well, I'm just, I'm nothing like this guy or girl on a stage. I'm not like them at all. So why should I even bother trying? Because they're just so much better, right? They're more committed. They have better habits. They, they had all this figured out. They don't have the limiting beliefs and negative voices that I have. So... I'll never be able to be like that. That's often an unfortunate impact. We can be motivated, but people get to the point where they go, but I'm not like them, right? Because you, you, that's why so many people walk out of a motivational speech and they go, oh my God, I feel amazing. I'm going to take on the world. But the next day they go right back to who they were, right back to all their same old patterns. So how do we shift that? And how do we change that? Now, if you're telling a story about climbing Mount Everest, you need to unify the audience and link them in. One of your biggest goals as a speaker is to bring the audience together as well so they realize they're part of a tribe, they're not alone, they're not the, the one person that doesn't get it. They're somebody who's just as human as the person on stage and this is what my mentor, Sean Stevenson, called shaving the legs off your pedestal. They're gonna put you on a pedestal when you're on a stage. You don't wanna do this, you wanna do this so that you come together, they realize they're, you're just as human as them and you found ways to overcome those same human doubts and limitations and now you were able to achieve everything you wanted to because now there's a bridge and they can go on that journey with you. So how do we do that? One of the best ways to do this is by using a globalizing human experience and what this looks like in its most basic form is this. If you say, I climb Mount Everest and we were facing these challenges and we didn't think we were gonna do it, then you look at the audience and you go, for you, it might not have been climbing a mountain. That the challenges, the uncertainty, the doubts, the fears may not have come during a climb of a mountain. For you, it might have come in your relationships, in your finance, in your spirituality, in your wellness, in your wealth. It may not have been a physical challenge. It may have been emotional, mental, financial. And for you, what was that challenge? And what did you do to overcome it? Because I bet, even if you haven't acknowledged it, there's a formula for success that you already know that you've used and you've succeeded with that maybe you've forgotten about for a long time. You need to re-engage right now. You see, what we do there is we take our amazing, compelling, personal human experience, big or small story, and we link it to the audience so that they go, oh, yeah, I did, that's right, I did that when I had, I had this huge mountain of debt. It wasn't a physical mountain, but a mountain of debt. And I made a plan and I executed and I got creative and I got resourceful. I got an amazing dream job and I paid it down. So then they go, you know what, he's right. We're, we're very similar. We're like each other. So now the pedestal has come down to meet them. And that person's like, okay, tell me more. Tell me what's up. Tell me why. Because tell me how I did it. Because I didn't even make that connection until you said it. Then when we get to that takeaway, they go, oh my God, I did the same thing. I surrounded myself with the right people. I took small steps daily. I stayed committed to the goal. I, I kept focus on it over uh, the long term and I stayed consistent. Now, instead of them being like this, they go, I'm like that person. They connect with their greatest self. And when you give them a call to action, now they're connected with one of the greatest times in their life. They're connected with the best version of themselves and they're connected with their potential and not their limits and their current state. By doing this, by globalizing the experience and linking it to the message so that they can be ready for a call to action and most primed in their conscious and unconscious mind, they're at a state where they can say, I'm ready to take this on because they're not just looking at how awesome you are. They're celebrating how awesome they are with real proof and real examples and real results from their own life 
big or small, that let them know they're much stronger and more capable than they realize. So then when you get to the end and you've got the offer to join the program, buy the product, you know, join the group, become a part of this community, they're ready to go because they want to connect with other people who are at their best and other people who are going to raise their standard, other people who aren't accepting less than their best, and they're going to keep pushing and fighting for it and help them towards their goals, and they're going to help them in reverse. You see what I'm saying? They're going to help us, you're going to help them. It becomes a virtuous cycle. They want to be in those communities and those groups. Us as speakers, our responsibility is to make sure we don't take our incredible life experiences and unintentionally distance the audience from ourselves. We want to bring them closer, connect, say, hey, we're human. We're so much more similar than you realize. And I've just found new ways to overcome this that I want to share with you today. And then here's how you can use that to overcome your challenges today, starting today, starting now with movement, with action, with making a commitment to your greatest self and making moves. So I hope this message was of value for you today. I hope you took away something that is going to help you take action and take steps to serve at your greatest purpose and your highest potential. If you would like more help on speaking or executive speaking coaching, this is what I'm primarily focused on in my business right now, you can reach out to me at brian, that's B-R-I-A-N, at overcominggraduation.com. And you can reach out, I'll send out, uh, send out a form and we'll get started on determining how we can best serve you in leveling up your speaking, your connection with your audience, and your ability to drive them to take action. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you get these videos as soon as they come out. Like, comment, share. I want to hear what you're going to do, what your takeaways were, what you'd like to see more of. I want to hear your feedback. I'm going to respond back to you. I want to engage with you. And I want to continue to share on this journey because there is so much that we can do together when we lift each other up and we share our messages and we do what we're here to do. And living this and doing this, this is my mission and my purpose. And I want to help you live your mission and your purpose through understanding the power of your stories and how to craft them and deliver them in a way that can change people's lives. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Overcoming Graduation email list. You can do that by visiting overcominggraduation.com. You'll get a pop-up for a little free giveaway, a little something fun for you. Enter your name and email, you'll immediately be added to the list. And that's where the latest offers for products, promotions, events will come out. So that'll be the best place to stay connected with the Overcoming Graduation community. I love you all. I appreciate you. I'm excited to connect with you. And I can't wait to see and hear what you think and what actions you're going to take in the comments below. So I love you all. I'll talk to you soon and have a great one today. Take an action towards your dreams and goals.